What's up guys, now 2 underscore here, back with another episode of the Pokemon Fire Red Monotype run. Uh, in the last one we just cleared one gauntlet of trainers, stocked up a little bit in Fuchsia, and then started back up on this cycling road right here. Um, <laughs> I can just bike at normal speed because of the speed up button. <laughs> That's awesome. I always hate it. Oh, hi airplane. What's up? You wanted to just interrupt here? There's a good to fair chance that you're not going to show up on the audio capture, but that is loud. That is... I don't know why there's a jet, like, flying over my house, but good god. If any of you guys... I'm very sorry. It, are, did they come for me? Is, is this go, what, what's going on? Did the Air Force One finally locate, locate my location? Okay, come on. Off you go. There you go. Alright, bye, jet. Thanks, thanks for making me lose my entire train of... Oh, man, Leo's dead. Cool. All right, well, screw you, you dumb, you dumb plane. Anyway, I always hated cycling road because even on your bike, you're moving so slowly and that's just like a big slap in the face because you're on this thing where you're like, I go fast all the time on this vehicle and then you get slowed down because your little 10 year old thighs can't quite pack enough of a punch to get up, get up this, you know, steep incline here. It's, it's really tough unless you can make your game go at a thousand percent speed. Um, what's up? I don't want to pass any trainers though. I need you for EXP. Be a rebel! Yeah, totally, dude! <laughs> Alright, okay, you've got a priming. Alright, I'm, I'm switching out up there. Fine. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool. Uh, let me just take in this Pidgeot to be. I'm gonna kind of try to prioritize Blastoise in this training. Uh, at least against this dude's fi uh, fighting types. Ooh, he just... He tried to muck me up, but he failed at mucking mucking this puppy up. Alright. Let me heal my Pokemans. And continue to try to evolve Blastoise into Pidgeot, as as one does uh, with, this, with this game. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but Blastoise to Pidgeot is one of the biggest stat-changing evolutions ever. It's probably not even true. I bet Blastoise and Pidgeot's stats are crazy similar for some reason. <laughs> um, anyway, alright, I've got a couple of stories actually. I mentioned this in the last episode, but then I kind of coasted through on actually doing game commentary. Oh, okay, that's cool, just faint me right before I evolve, you asshole. Yeah, it's, it's just get cutted. Boom. He was level 35, he don't care. And there's Q ball Zeke. Zay, -E -Z 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 yes, the letter Zay, E-E-K, Z-E-E-K, that's, that's how you spell Zeke, dummy. Move that E. Jesus. My story. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm a very smart person, you know? You might be able to tell from, like, the way that I can strategize in Pokemon, the way that I can gather up my team, bring them all up to an even level, and take down most threats. I can prevail pretty well in Nuzlocks. I've beaten several Nuzlocke in my day, and those those make it very tough. I do quite well in school. I've mentioned I, mentioned I'm in advanced math. I've mentioned... I, I am academically successful, so when a story like this comes along, it kind of grinds my gears because I'm like, no, that means I'm bad at mind stuff, and I'm good at mind stuff. Oh, that's a Voltorb. Uh, so the other day, I got back from tennis, and um, I was super sweaty. I had pit stains. Uh, why did I switch into Master Ball on this Voltorb? This is already going well. I had pit stains galore, um, and I was, you know, figuring out a way to prevent that next time. A uh, normal person would have said, eh, wear, wear more deodorant, you're, you'll be fine, just apply more. Um, what I did instead was decide it was time to shave my armpits, because, you know, that's a rational leap to take. Uh, so I take out this, like, electric razor that I have that I use on my face, um, and it's like three gentle blades that are supposed to be easy to use, you know, any idiot can use this without freaking destroying their face. I don't think I've even gotten a nick from this razor until I tried using it on my armpits. Um, so I'm like, yeah, whatever. This is easy on my face. All skin is the same strength. Let's do this. So I apply the razor to my right armpit and I just destroy it like instantly. I, I don't even have enough time to think, hey, maybe I should stop doing this before my entire right pit is just destroyed in a massacre of... Why are you missing hyper things? Jesus. Destroyed in a massacre of cuts and scrapes and knicks. Um, so I had to go to tennis with that, like, mutilated armpit. It, it healed in, like, three days, but...
for those three days of tennis, I was sweating right into those wounds. And I'm just gonna let you guys imagine that, that crap going down. So it's very hard to be stupid and hairy, like myself. <laughs> you get yourself into a lot of situations like this. And at the end I'm just thinking, eh, this is almost funnier than it is disgusting and stupid, right? I could, I could tell this on the show. <laughs> So that's what I've done with it. Hooray! And that's how you get through Cycling Road, folks. There's still a bunch of things to fight, actually, so let me just super put the M. And uh, no, actually, we're all fine. Alright. Get ready to fight, you gangsters. They're not gangsters. They're not like gangsta. But they do. They're, they're bikers. That's, that's like a different thing, but I think they're still considered a gang, right? Because, like, they have, they have, like, the matching leather jackets, and they all, like, bike around together and, like, cause havoc and shit. So, you, I think, I think there are gangs in Pokemon. I might have to look this up on the wiki, but I am like 80% sure that these guys qualify as a gang. Except they have names like Ruben. <laughs> like, they're still referred to as like, you know, Q-Ball or Biker, but their name, like Luke. I'm not, I, I'm intimidated by that figure. I'm intimidated by the name Q-Ball. But Luke, that's just a cutesy shortening of my name. You little rat. Now, this is actually quite a big rat. I think you're mistaken on the size of this rat. This one right here, that's that's quite a large rat. I mean, I've got a lot of crazy stuff on my team, but that rat's fairly... It's of unusual size, this rodent. Yeah, I just hope you realize that. Uh, yeah, why not, Luna? Alright, next gang member, probably. What do you want? Uh, to defeat you in battle in order to gain XP points and progress on my journey. I mean, you know, I also want, like, true happiness, I guess. It would be nice to, um, achieve that, to get all of my goals meet and feel as though my life has had full purpose. But, you know, I'm probably, like, 20% eh, through my life at this point. That's That seems about right. A little bit less than a fifth of the way through by age 15. Yeah, I, I didn't do the exact math, but it seems like that checks out. <laughs> Welcome to Summer Brain, ladies and gentlemen. The day that I stop doing math is the day that we all realize it's a terrible system. <laughs> I'm just gonna need you to stop using your super effective strong moves on me so that I can... There we go. Alright, thanks, Machop. Now, can you just take a mega punch to the face? Perfect. Alright, and now you. You just bumped me. <laughs> I, I might have, actually. Yeah, this bike is a little bit tough to control, especially when you're speeding through the game like me. Uh, but what what you gonna do about it? Challenge me to a freaking Pokermans battle? You're not as good with the Pokermans as I am. I'm a Pokermans master. I'm gonna become champion one of these episodes. Episode 60-something, maybe. I don't know, there's another random prediction. Let's see how that checks out. Uh, would you like to fight fat ass, sir? I'm feeling hungry and mean. I need a punching bag. Ah, uh, yes, every elementary school bully ever. <laughs> I didn't get my snacks, and now I want to punch things. <laughs> well, yep, bad, bad, bad. If I'm gonna have Pokemon, they may as well be ferocious. I'd use them to leave my enemies in tatters. I don't think I'm in tatters. I'm not even 100% sure you hit me during that time. But what I do know is I'm gonna go through here, and look at that, it's another fat ass. This feels good. You wanna use the poker flute? Yeah. Last time I did this, it resulted in like a freaking 10 minute wild battle. Um, do I need to... Okay, cool. In which I... My team was destroyed, but this guy... <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just gonna spam body slam with my Snorlax. And boom! How does it feel? How does it feel to be taken down that terribly? Not good. Snorlax calmed down and gave a huge yawn and returned to the mountains. Not like my Snorlax. My Snorlax. Okay. My Snorlax is my personal slave forever. And I love him. That's why I named him Fatass. Alright, Leo and Fatass, that's, that's the dream team. Let's go. Our love knows no bounds. We're in love and we show it. Oh, you're the worst kind of couple. I bet you guys were making out before I came up in public in front of a child. Have you no shame. Cool, that was a critical cut. This one's quite a bit. And Rapidash cannot take a hit. What a surprise. Alright. And yeah, just do that again. Yay. Alright, Leo leveled up. Uh, I think he said something about looking like a loser. 
Uh, that had nothing to do with me, buddy. You're you're just a loser yourself. That's, that's how this works. All right, before I end off the episode, let me just talk to this old dude. Hey, how'd you get in? Good effort. Yeah, I kept I kept cut on my team because this is a normal monotype. So I didn't get any HM slaves. So now I get to go to Route 16 and talk to this woman who has a Firo. And she's like, oh dear, you've found my secret retreat. Please don't tell anyone I'm here. I'll make it up to you with this. All right, cool. Something tells me that you're being taken hostage by maybe someone hiding under this coffee table. And you're like, no, I'm fine. Don't send help. Don't send help. I know how to ruin a Pokemon game. <laughs> I've done that multiple times. Just destroyed any air of happiness given to me. Uh, all right, so now I'm going to teach Fly probably to both of my birds. Master Ball, you want to learn Fly? All right, forget Leer. That's, that's dumb. Boom. And I'm also teaching it to Blastoise, who evolved. I said nothing about that, but check out this cool Pidgeot, guys. Uh, let's forget... Whirlwind? Yeah, Whirlwind. Alright, cool. Now, now my birdies are even better, and I can fast travel. And I'll fast travel a lot in the next episode. See you then.